Hey everybody, in this segment of American Travel Ventures, we got a great segment lined up for you. I've got a good friend of mine here today, Mr. Justin Ramsey, and we are at one of my absolute favorite places to go, hang out and have fun, Crossbar Ranch in Davis, Oklahoma. Folks, this is where we go four-wheeling, and we can take you four-wheeling, but more about that later. Justin, I want to say hi and welcome to American Travel Ventures. Yeah, appreciate Ventures. you coming out today. Yeah, well, folks, Justin is with Mid Ground Creators, which is the company that recently just took over the operations of the Crossbar Ranch. Now this ranch, man, I mean, it's ideal for this type of recreation. Yeah. I mean, as far as uh, four wheelers, side by sides, dirt bikes. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's like one of the premier ranches in the country that's already ready to go. Uh, tell us a little bit about the way it's set up now and, and what you've got to offer now, Justin, and then what might be coming up in the near future. Okay. Well, yeah, uh, Ken, I appreciate you. Um, you know, right now, anyone from, can pretty much come out. Uh, it is open to four-wheelers, side-by-sides, motorcycles. It is not open to full-size vehicles at this time. Okay. Um, we've got, I believe there's 27 full-service hookups. Um, endless amount of primitive camping. <clears throat> right, you can see we got the uh, RV old Hurricane Hattie here, the ATV motorhome. So we're gonna be camping out here and doing Absolutely. some four-wheeling this weekend, but 27 full hookups? 27, and I say uh, full hookups, we have a sewer dump station, but uh, everything has water, cement pads, and a 50 amp electric service. Well, that's cool because I mean, folks, we are remote. I mean, we're out here Absolutely. in the Arbuckle Mountains, there's nothing around us. It's absolutely beautiful out here, and I can't wait to get started. But what do you guys have planned for the near future, Justin? Well, a lot of things, actually, Kent. Uh, we have just recently taken over management of the park. And uh, to start, we want to do the very, very basic things, improving the road as you come in, uh, improving the campgrounds, and hopefully adding some more RV spots, uh, trail signage, trail maintenance, just really make it user friendly. Uh, we've got some mapping that we're gonna be working on so that everyone can find their way around the park. But what else have you got in mind? Well, actually, um, we are an event-based company, so we've got some large events that we're gonna be planning. Our first event is scheduled for May 19th and 20th. It is, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big deal. It's a company called Ultra Four. They host a race out in uh, Johnson Valley, California called the King of the Hammers. I've heard of that. I watched it on TV, I think, last summer. But I am really excited to get out on the trails. Now, how big is this ranch, Justin? It's actually 6,500 acres. Wow. Uh, it, it is the uh, largest off-road park in the central United States. How, how, how far is it from one end to the other? Some people don't have an idea of how far 6,500 acres will take you. Well, to kind of give you an idea from right here, you're just about two and a half miles in either direction, um, anywhere in the park to, to get to the boundary. It's, so it's five miles from corner to corner? Just about five miles from corner to corner. To give you a good idea, it's 10 square miles. Wow. That's a lot of property, folks, yeah, to get out and enjoy nature. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful out here in the Arbuckles, but also you got to keep in mind it is possible. I mean, that's a big enough place that you can actually get lost in it. That's why you're working on the maps and improving the trail system. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it's something And that's why I'm safety. looking forward for you to show me the trail so <laughs> I can, can take that. them when, you know, the time comes. I'll know my way around and uh, can help people find how to get in and out of this place. I'm ready to get the four-wheelers off, uh, off the trailer and maybe take a look around. Man, I can't wait to see some of this property. Let's show it to you. Well, friends, after finishing my interview with Justin, we jumped into the motorhome and took a chance to look at the GPS. Justin gave me an idea of what part of the ranch we'd be headed for. After that, it didn't take long to drop the trailer and unload my side-by-side -side and one of the new four-wheelers provided by ATV Outfitters. The plan was for my partner, John Roloff, to ride in the large, comfortable side-by-side -side with Justin since he'd be showing us the way and they were going to carry extra equipment so we could get some great shots with the drone once we got to our destination. Even though I could have brought my side-by-side, -side, I decided to try one of the new four-wheelers since I was by myself and I love the feeling of getting that wind on my face and the freedom you feel when you ride a four-wheeler, kind of like riding a big motorcycle down the highway, only you're off-road in the outdoors. There's nothing any more fun, folks. you got to give it a try. As we started out into the ranch, I was glad that the trails seemed easy at first. That gave me a chance to get used to riding the new machine, and it didn't take long before I felt right at home 
on this brand new Polaris 570 Sportsman. If you want to ride four wheelers, this is a great one, folks. It's just the right size, right in the middle. Not too big and not too small. But someone of any size could ride this machine and feel comfortable within a short period of time. Now, as we got further back into the ranch, folks, the trails got a little bit steeper and a little bit more windy and a whole lot rockier. And I'll tell you what, this is a beautiful piece of property. The further we went up into the northwest corner of the ranch, the more I understood why Justin Ramsey had fallen in love with this place, and I knew that I'd be coming back and spending a lot of time here. We crossed several creeks full of crystal clear water running through the Arbuckle Mountains. We were on our way back to a solid rock face that Justin knew of, where John would get out and get some good drone shots. But first, let's take a break and see what our sponsors have to say. When we come back, we'll be taking a look at another part of Oklahoma, the Talamina Trail, National Scenic Byway. Folks, another beautiful area to go on your next weekend getaway. After that, we'll be back with more from Crossbar Ranch. Stay with us.